Hello. Today I'm talking a little bit about music and can a child's intelligence increase from them being involved in music? Music is an essential part of any early childhood education curriculum. It stimulates the brain and helps enormously with a child's whole development, physically, emotionally, socially, intellectually and spiritually. Music in itself is a subject worthy of study and it has clear learning outcomes. Singing is used as the basic building block when working with children. The voice is the ideal instrument because we all have one. It is the first real instrument. Most other instruments can be seen as an extension of our ability as humans to sing. Singing is the most immediate and direct way to make a musical response and learning to sing is learning to develop an internal skill as you make the sound. Learning to play an instrument is an external skill. You make something else make the sound. Because our voice is a part of us, anything we learn through singing goes far deeper than making the sound with another instrument. What is also crucial is that singing automatically engages the inner hearing. Perhaps the most important factor is the development of this inner hearing. It makes real musicians. The inner hearing is the ability to hear musical sounds inwardly, like the ability to do addition mentally or the multiplication mentally, or even to read a book silently. Much more than that, it's a working tool of the creative soul and imagination. Children who are actively engaged in making music, especially through singing, are happier children and emotionally and spiritually fulfilled human beings. Children's songs and rhymes are the staple diet of any early childhood education program. At first, children learn these and do simple games and actions to them. But it's in the singing and the activities with which the children engage and that learning begins to stir within them. They begin to grow in their musical understanding, often unconsciously. What about melody? It's a well-known fact that children instinctively use what musicians describe as the falling minor third. That's the so fa, so me. That people naturally use when they go daddy, yoo-hoo, cooey, oh-oh, you know, and so on. There's countless thousands of examples of that little me melody in music. And often in early childhood, we sing the Hello Everyone song, and that is a typical so me uh, motif. Music, music lessons are always fun. Children do want to learn and research has shown that good music lessons will enhance learning in the other domains of knowledge. Research shows that children who are actively involved in music, who play it or sing it regularly, do better with reading and maths when they start school are better able to focus and control their bodies and play better with others and have higher self-esteem. So motivation increases as children grow in confidence. Achievement is always acknowledged. No child is ever told that they cannot sing. So all children can be taught the joy of music through singing and can develop their ability to pitch accurately. Children taught at this very early young age will also gain the essential groundwork to begin an instrument later, if they wish. Now there's a quote from Codley saying, music is one of the most powerful forces for the uplifting of mankind. And he who renders it accessible to as many people as possible is the benefactor of humanity. I hope you've enjoyed that little bit about music and I encourage you to do as much music as you can with your young children. Thank you.